name now I believe it's day 13 now just crack on to it I'm not even gonna do intros anymore day 13 write down a list of maximum seven thoughts that you frequently have that only bring you stress and unhappiness then rephrase these thoughts in an empowering way seven things I probably won't be able to do seven off my top of my head but things that probably add me stress number one finding work um, I keep being told that I'm not qualified every time I have an interview especially the way I conduct myself is not the most um, like I don't really demonstrate through my voice and action that I'm the most confident person I keep hearing people say you gotta sell yourself you gotta show that you're the reason why they you're the one that can solve their problems this and that in reality us humans don't freaking work like that and I find it slightly disingenuous to like promote yourself in that way despite myself being a copywriter to promote myself that way as though I am some you know I, I don't I, I try to be hu with a bit of humanity and humbleness and it's to my own detriment admittedly I understand that I shoot myself in the foot when I don't say I'm the guy you need to hire when the whole process of hiring is to you know be like uh, what's the point of hiring me then um, I guess the way I can rephrase that in an empowering way is yeah I, I like to say that I am more humble and and more um, more honest than other candidates that's that's it like I won't try to lie my way through things I'll be honest and try to be principled and live with integrity now you know it's sometimes it's a dog eat dog world and they, people don't want that but I'm here for loyalty like I'm not gonna uh, you know I, I don't want to go from one company to another to this and that the ideal thing is to stay at one place and you know enjoy myself and you know um, and that's how I conduct my life as well relationship with friends and family and whatever like I try to live a true and honest life and you know when I keep a lie I don't want to keep a lie. I try to expel it as much as I can as early as possible and ideally prevent it being a lie in the first place. Honestly, it is honesty is genuinely the best policy. Not just for other people, for myself, for my conscience. I feel guilty if I just keep it hidden. I feel dirty. I honestly feel dirty when I keep lies. Um, yeah, even when I'm playing games, you know, like family games where there's you kind of have to um, like find out who's the thief and whatever I, I, even in a fictional world I can't do that um, another unhappy what was it um, thoughts that make me stressed and unhappy um, sort of not being I haven't traveled around the world and I guess that makes me a bit sad because my life as probably you and everyone else their life is a bit repetitive. You have this dream, you have this dream in your head that you want to live, but when you wake up in the morning, you're like, Ugh, I'm tired. Like, I have a dream of like trying to shed my man boobs and stuff like this. But when the reality comes, I and many others don't fulfill their wishes. New Year resolution, for example. Not many, you know, want to commit to it. Um, and I guess to empower that, to rephrase that is to say it's okay you know what I can feel at peace not going away because I re remember reading somewhere like people fly away on holidays abroad to find some relaxation some peace some tranquility when you can do that here yeah, you're gonna actually just be you know you can be calm and tranquil just in your ordinary life if you take steps to like you know um, make your life a bit more stable and I thought that is quite you know it is true first of all money you don't the amount of money you spend but then again traveling is when I went to Poland I honestly it was my f favorite time of my life a because I went to a beautiful place it was boiling hot but was beautiful and I met someone who is always in my head like yeah um, uh, yeah so traveling 
I, I can I can be at peace in everyday parks that I go to, every hello I say, every coffee I order in a cafe. I can I can. You know, be okay with the mundane stuff. It doesn't have to be mundane. I'm not gonna pretend like it's it's super positive. That's in my opinion toxic positivity, like trying to make make your life super fun and entertaining twenty four seven. That's just not it's exhausting to do that. Um another thing that stresses me out or makes me unhappy <sighs> Like, um, having goals in general, like, no, no, like, I, I have visions of what I want to do, oh, I want to create a podcast, oh, I want a YouTube channel, oh, I want to write a book, and then, kind of similar to what I just said earlier, like, it's okay to not fulfill them half the time, because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do anyway, you know, um, it's good that I have these ideas. It's good that I have the will and the drive to do it. It's just, you know, the ability to execute it. And sometimes, because of my age or my experience, I might not be able to connect the dots. But that's okay. Because I often find that, just out of nowhere, when I'm in the middle of the night or when I'm trying to go to bed, just a thought pops into my head or a dream pops into my head genuinely. And then boom, the next day, I'm committed to the idea. It's just random sparks in my head. Um, and it's okay. It's honestly mad okay to do that. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've rambled on a bit. And you know what? I feel very talkative today. I, I'm, I'm telling you, listening to podcasts has helped me in some way. It just energizes me to like learn more and discover more. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Right, peace. Subscribe. Yeah, peace.